guys. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this 2020 AMW 707 turnkey. This Jeep started its life as a 2020 Overland Gladiator, and this past year, the customer decided to do the full AMW 707 turnkey package to his existing vehicle. So unlike some of our others that are built brand new for our customers, uh, this customer already had a vehicle, and we decided to do the whole package to it. It only had about 7,500 miles on it, so it made it a great donor vehicle and something that was very easy to start with and do our entire package to it. So with that being said, there's a couple things that uh, happened differently with this one. Um, because of the Overland's uh, fender flares being a little bit lower, instead of going to a Rubicon flare on this vehicle, we actually went to a full uh, Nemesis package flares. So these are the Nemesis Notorious flares uh, that have been fully paint matched to match up with the Hydro Blue seamlessly around the truck. This one, the customer decided to do an orange accent color on the inside, and we brought a couple key features out on the outside of the vehicle as far as the brake caliper uh, being orange. And then inside we did the stitching and the steering wheel with orange as well. But all other accents we kept with the hydro blue theme on the outside here, uh, along with the tow hooks on the front and the back. So we used some of the things that the customer already had done to the vehicle. So we used the existing winch that he had mounted in here, uh, repurposed it into the AMW turnkey bumper. It is a worn, so it fit up with our same mounting positions uh, and looks amazing up there. So we did a blue Factor 55 ultra hook on this build along with the Factor 55 Fairlead mount. So walking around this vehicle, you can tell there's some silver accents in here that were kept originally from the Overland. And then we did our AMW turnkey headlight package along with our AMW eight lug on the inside of the headlight signifying that this is a full eight lug platform vehicle. Walking around the side of the vehicle here, you'll see that we've still done the full turnkey package as far as the wheels and tires go. So this is a 40 inch Nitto trail grappler with our KMC custom wheel. We've done our full Hemi 2 long arm suspension on this vehicle, along with the nice paint match inner fenders to tie it all together. Like all of our turnkey vehicles, we've done the Hemi tuned steering package up here with the hydro assist using the Steer Smarts one and a half ton drag link tie bar and a forged track bar. This steering box is ported and tuned specifically for our setups, making this steering and drivability second to none. You can see up front, we've done our AMW custom locking hubs, along with the rock slide engineering steps, our AMW 4x4 trail coin, the Hellcat logo, obviously. If we move here to the side, we can open the door and take a look at the interior. This interior, we've done our full turnkey interior package, including the carbon fiber steering wheel. We've done a leather bound flat top wheel with an orange leather stitch in the center, along with our full gauge face clusters, Mojave orange accent colors on the inside, along with the AMW shifter coins and grab handle. The auxiliary fuel tank that's under the bed of this vehicle offers an extended range and very easy transfer from this tank to your main fuel cell. Moving towards the back of this vehicle, you'll see that we've got those notorious Nemesis flares back here, fully paint matched, along with our aluminum paint matched inner fenders as well. This customer opted to do the full bed option, including our AMW 4x4 bed badge here, which is full blackout to match the rest of the theme of this vehicle. Underneath, you'll notice that the exhaust is fully heat wrapped. We do that on all of our supercharged conversions to minimize any heat transfer from this large V8 engine both the auxiliary fuel tank and the auxiliary supercharger coolant system are integrated seamlessly together on the same skid system using high quality aluminum TIG welded tanks, offering maximum protection, wheeling off road, or even at high speeds on road. We wanna make sure those systems are well protected and seamlessly integrated. We're excited to start offering this. It's been a very long time coming and a lot of engineering and integration to get everything to work properly. As we put these tanks into production, they will be available as options. If you already own a current turnkey vehicle from America's Most Wanted 4x4, or if you're planning to get one, ask us or your certified installer in your area for more information on these auxiliary fuel systems. On all of our AMW turnkey vehicle builds, we do have build plates. This is a special Easter egg that we add in all of our turnkey vehicles to really signify that it is a full AMW turnkey and some of the details on the engine, including your serial number, build specs, and power. This build plate really signifies how timeless and unique that these full builds are and how special it is to own one. 
We're gonna pop the hood, show you guys the engine bay. On any of our turnkey vehicles, the engine bay is made to look completely OEM other than a couple key features that we've added in. So what we have here is the Hellcat conversion. This is a 6.2 liter with a 2.4 liter supercharger. It's got an 8 HP 75 transmission. It puts out 707 horsepower and 650 foot pounds of torque. It really picks this vehicle up and makes it just a riot to drive. Whether it's on road at the track or off road, there's never a dull moment in an AMW turnkey. Up front here, you'll notice that there's a AMW cold air intake where your PCM is also mounted, making it a very clean mounting scenario. Following to the back here, you'll notice the same canister as the TRX. This canister here of coolant is for your blower coolant system that has the reservoir tank in the back for maximum cooling capacity. Our cooling systems use a radiator that is custom made for us specifically. This isn't something that is a drop-in uh, standalone radiator from any other vehicle. This is a dimple tube technology that allows for our cooling systems to be very, very efficient, almost 40% more efficient than a normal radiator. You can be confident knowing with these cooling setups that we've tested them in Moab, we've tested them on track days, we've tested them on road trips. A lot of the times when we take these vehicles anywhere, if it is one of our shop vehicles that we own, we'll drive it, put miles on it, and try and do anything that a customer would possibly be able to do with this vehicle. Making sure that it's tested, tried, and battle ridden, ready for our customers. With that being said, let's hop in it and take it for a drive. All right guys, we're out in the Jeep now, taking it for a drive. We're gonna swing down a couple roads here, take some corners and uh, try and get you an idea of how stable this vehicle is. Um, I know I talk about it a lot in these videos, stability and drivability, but it's two things that you really never get to feel uh, in a vehicle like this, especially in a Jeep on 40 inch tires. As you can see, I'm driving along, I've got a hand on the wheel, um, barely on it. And you know we're doing 55 miles an hour, down this road here, super stable, very comfortable. There's no sorts of hole or corrections that need to be made. It's uh, really an awesome truck to be daily driving. So uh, same thing, you know, when you get out into, uh, into the rocks and the Moab, driving this thing around with ease on 40 inch tires on any train is just a pleasure. You know, it is set up stiff enough uh, to where those corners and the uh, you know, faster speeds are very comfortable. But at lower speeds, you can always adjust our shocks. We have a uh, three-speed adjuster on the shock, so you got your very stiff setting is number uh, three. The softest setting is number one. And if you have it on two, there's actually an adjustment within that. Within the number two setting, you can really dial in the suspension to exactly the way you like it. With any suspension like this, it's always important to have adjustability. Over time, if anything moves or is worked out of place through just wear and tear or heavy abuse on these vehicles if you need to realign it if you need to adjust things down the road it makes it super easy and just very user friendly to be able to have that full adjustability so sometimes you just got to push into the pedal a little bit and have some fun that's a clover leaf here at about 50 miles an hour just a wild feeling and it's so smooth that it's confusing you know uh, whenever we give test drives in these vehicles it's one of those things that the customer hops in and is very always very tentative and, and not wanting to push it too far because you know the limitations of Jeeps in general have always been you know it's kind of an unspoken rule that you don't go fast in a Jeep or that you don't you know corner fast in a Jeep uh, and these things just break every boundary that uh, that a stock you know, Wrangler or Gladiator has. We're just cruising here, doing about 75. You can hear it's very quiet. Um, you know, there's not too much supercharger noise. You can just slightly hear that whine. Uh, it's an awesome daily driver package for whether you're commuting or 
driving a, a long distance on a road trip. It's just all around. I can't explain enough how comfortable uh, this vehicle is to be in. If you do get into a situation where you need to stomp that brake pedal down, you can lock up all four tires and come to a stop very, very quickly. So the power is there, but as far as the normal use and normal pressure on that brake pedal, it's super even and really, really easy to drive. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoy making them for you. So like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you'd love to see, and we'll see you next time.